Well, the first step um, may be approval in mid-gut neuroendocrine tumors based on the NETR1 study, but we're also hoping that data from Erasmus Hospital in, in the Netherlands um, with uh, hundreds of patients, single arm data, uh, will lead to approval in a broader group of neuroendocrine tumors. Uh, regardless, I think that there's uh, definitely uh, room for clinical studies, phase three clinical studies of uh, uh, lutetium dotatate in non-midgut neuroendocrine tumors, such as pancreatic neuroendocrine tumors, bronchial neuroendocrine tumors, uh, colorectal, uh, so looking at a broad group of neuroendocrine tumors, potentially comparing to another standard of care such as Everolimus. I think that would be a first step. Um, there's interest in combination studies, combination with radiosensitizing chemotherapy drugs, uh, combinations perhaps with uh, immunotherapy drugs based on the theoretical potential of uh, uh, radiotherapy to enhance immunosensitivity, although that's somewhat speculative. Um, so there's a, a you know a whole bunch of new directions this can go.